ट्रायबोलॉजी मॉडल थ्री हाइड्रो डायनामिक लुब्रिकेशन इंट्रोडक्शन टू हाइड्रो डायनामिक लुब्रिकेशन इन हाइड्रो डायनामिक लुब्रिकेशन ए हाइड्रो डायनामिक प्रेशर इज जनरेटेड बाय रिलेटिव मोमेंट ऑफ द शाफ्ट ड्राइंग द विस्कस फ्लूड इन टू टेपर फिल्म और वेज बिटवीन द शाफ्ट एंड द बैरिंग सर्फेस the pressure of this film becomes large enough to lift the rotating shaft and physically separate the two surfaces by a film below figure roughly illustrates this principle as you see so figure shaft the center o dash and the distance of the push and o double dash is the center of the bearing and the liquid the oil film in between the shaft and the bearing suspending petrov's equation or for frictional force power loss coefficient of friction in light loaded bearing as you can see in the figure it's light length of light loaded bearing with length l capital l the radius r development of the concentric all film between in the concentric journal bearing and we see from the figure consider a full journal bearing as shown in the figure the journal will concentrically run with the bearing only when first one the radial load acting on the journal is equal to zero second one the viscosity of oil is nearer to infinity third one speed of the journal is infinity but none of the above conditions is practical however if first one radial load is light enough viscosity of fluid is sufficiently high journal has sufficient high speed under these conditions the eccentricity of the journal relative to bearing may be so small that the oil film around the journal may be considered to be practical of any form thickness let l capital l is the length of the bearing small d diameter of the journal small c is a radial clearance capital c the diametrical clearance and diametrical clearance that is 2 into c small c psi is a diametrical clearance ratio that is capital c by d and dash or n by 60 is speed of journal in rps
the development of concentric general bearing is shown in figure 2 which is uh, surface a represents general moving with constant velocity u and surface b represents the bearing the stationary surface assuming that the viscosity of fluid is constant throughout the oil film the frictional force f mu resisting the relative motion is given by f mu equals to tau into a question 1 where tau is a shear stress a is the area of lubrication pi d in dl but according to newton's law of viscosity shear stress tau is nu into u by c Question number two. But u is pi d n by 60 or pi d n dash, where n dash is n by 60 rps. Radial clearance c is c by 2. So from the velocity equation 1, we get f mu equals to nu pi d n dash by c by 2 pi dl or 2 pi n square 2 pi square n nu n dash d square l by c. Or 2 pi n nu and dash dl by psi size 1 by size d by c equation number 3 this equation is called spectral law of frictional force f mu and now frictional torque is given by f m t equals to f mu into r f mu is 2 pi square efficiency and d square l by c into d by 2 we get m tau m t equals to i square nu n dash l d square by psi equation number 4 equation 4 is the pattern of the equation for torsional frictional torque mt now to uh, derive the equation for equation of friction mu we have the, uh, to consider mt equals to f mu into r so mt that is pi n square n dash l d uh, d square by psi equals to m, uh, f mu is e m mu w d by 2 because F mu is mu into W. W is a radial load. Where m mu is the coefficient of friction. So, question, so 2 pi square n mu n dash L D by psi. No, w is equation 5. But P pressure P is load by projected area. So P is W by L D or W is P L D. So the value of W in question 3, 5 we get. Now, 2 pi in mu, in mu L, D, L D by psi. P L D into mu. So mu is 2 pi square and n dash by p 1 by psi equation number 6. So equation number 6 represents the pet of equation for coefficient of friction mu and power loss n capital N is frictional loss into velocity f mu into u in watt or meter newton meter per second or power loss n is f mu into u by 1000 in kilowatt equation number 7. So equation number 7 is pet of equation for power loss. Equation 6, it is clear that bearing with fluid film lubrication, the concept of light load bearings includes not only load but also elements such as speed of the journal and dash, viscosity, mu, and clearance C. Diameter clearance is two beside the side. We can define light load bearing as one which is at the of our fluid is so small that Petrov's law give good approximation of frictional force and frictional losses in the bearing. Coefficient of friction mu varies for one bearing which is emotionally proportional to the load and directly proportional to the general bearing and dash and viscosity and lubricant. Thus coefficient of friction becomes infinity when the load is zero. Therefore this coefficient of friction alone cannot be used to judge the quality of bearing performance. At load bearing have high speed, we have a relatively high coefficient of friction mu in spite of correct design and satisfactory performance.